Okay, so this is going to show you how to make a .mot file in Lightsaber Maker. Now, uh, of course, you got to have the Lightsaber Maker. You just download it. Uh, type in lsmaker on uh, google.com. And you're going to need two videos. One video will be your root video, which is the actual video that you'll be adding the effect to. And another video is going to be the effect. Uh, you can get a lot of effect videos off YouTube. You can just download them. Uh, I recommend Zamzar because Zamzar you can convert to any file format and it'll just be sent to your email so you don't have to download anything. But uh, it's up to you. As long as you can get it into an AV format, that LS Maker will read. It's kind of picky. Alright, so this is my root video, uh, stick figure. I'm, like just doing something. And um, I just made this real quick for the tutorial. Now, the stick figure will have the fireball animation added to it, which is what the mod file will be testing today. That is the fireball animation. I did download that off YouTube. Uh, notice it is completely surrounded by black. It's not got a background, it's just black. Um, people make these with 3D Studio Max, and anything that's made with 3D Studio Max usually has a black background. So if it has a black background, that's what you want. Because that way it'll make it clear when you import it into LS Maker. Okay. So, you have your effect video and your root video. Your effect video needs to be in uh, pictures, in individual frames, not in a video. Because Lightsaber Maker doesn't overlap videos. So you open up Lightsaber Maker, and you import your effect video first. Alright, there it is. And, uh, okay. So that's it. Now you open it, and it should have all the frames. There's only 37 in this one, I believe. And, uh... Whoops. Okay, so now you press... Okay. And... Okay, so that should be it. You can scroll through the frames to check it out, see how it imported. It seems to be fine. Um, then you export it. Immediately. You don't have to do anything to it. Just export as bitmaps. Because that is the, uh, best format for keeping the pixels exactly the same. That way, the background will stay black. Okay, so now, uh, you want to create, you don't export them in the same folder as your video. You create them in a new folder, go into Lightsaber Maker, Picks, and then go into uh, creating a new folder. Call it whatever you want, call it Fireball for this tutorial. And you don't have to, but it's recommended that you create a new folder. It's just the easiest way, especially if there's a lot of frames. Or it's going to save them as Fire. And, uh, yeah. That will put uh, numbers at the end. See, I'll show you in a minute here. Firewall, you go in there. That's the new folder you just created, and uh, there's all the stuff. Okay, so uh, that's it. And go back. Okay, so now, oh, uh, no, no, you don't do that. Go into uh, Notepad and you save it as uh, make sure you're down here you select all files that's very important otherwise it'll save as a text file uh, now whatever you name it just name, we'll name it fireball for this tutorial dot mot m o t uh, it has to be dot mot you can save it whatever you want here fireball doesn't matter it just has to be dot m o t otherwise it will not work save it in the pix directory it has to be in pix it can't be in the fireball folder it has to be in pix even though the rest of your frames are in the fireball folder, we'll just make it read from there. Now, first thing you do is a mod file reads from the pix directory. But you don't want it to read from the pix directory because all your frames are in fireball. Right here. So the first thing you do is you look at the names of your pictures. They're all in fireball. So, to get it to read from the fireball folder, you type in fireball. So now it should just read Okay, we're not reading from Pix, we're reading from Fireball. And then you can go into Fireball and find the name of the, um, yeah, into Fireball we find the name of the picture. Now each picture has its own name, but they're all numbered in order, so it shouldn't matter. You should just be able to find one, and then you can renumber it. Now you can copy the first one if you want. 
and then you have to put a slash between here. It has to be a backslash. If you do a forward slash, it will think you're trying to divide something because this is a script. You have to do backslash. And then you put your file name, fire. And if this is a bitmap file, you type in .bmp. If it's a JPEG, you type .jpg. It's recommended that it's a bitmap, so .bmp. And uh, that's what we use for the tutorial. Fireball backslash fire zero 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 dot bmp. Now you can just start copying and pasting. And uh, if you copy and paste, you see you can just speed this up here. Um, and you just start changing the numbers in order. Make sure it's all in order. So it should just go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And it'll just keep going up till you reach your maximum number of frames. Don't type in a file path that isn't existent. Like if there's only 27 frames and you type 28, it will make a list maker kind of angry. So uh, just don't do that. Okay, so now you have the .mot file, which contains a list of all your... Uh, you know, files in order. And what you want to make sure you do is in the dot mot file, make sure there's no extra spaces at the end. Don't make sure there's no extra lines. The only lines that take up space should be the ones with the actual writing on it. If there's extra spaces it might get uh, messed up. Alright. So now that that's saved in there, open up your root file. I just opened up my stickman file. And yeah, just check it out to make sure this is the one. Okay, alright. Now in your uh, color, make sure you select it as a color. Find your .mot file. If you can't find it, just click somewhere and type F or whatever the beginning letter of your .mot file is. Fireball mot came up. You might have to click refresh. If you had this open the whole time, if you had LS Maker open, click refresh. Because it will not read new files. Alright, so that's that. Now you have your, uh, you can press J to constantly uh, regenerate the effect. And this is tricky. Placing it is really tricky in the beginning for most people. Even me, I still have a bit of a problem. And then just some are worse than others, but this one's kinda weird. Alright, so now, see, so you just keep placing it, and uh, make sure it says image under effect name. What you gotta do is go into frames. The effect for image is number is two. So you go into frame editor and do the um, change effect to two on all frames. So that way you won't have to change it every frame individually. Now you keep placing it. And I'm gonna speed it up here because it just takes forever. Um, Alright, so now. You can really start placing it, and uh, you just place it on every frame, and as you place it, it advances through the frames. So, see how the image is quite still here? You can sort of just keep clicking over and over again to place the image in the right sort of area. It should be about right for every frame, but the hand does move, so we will have to make adjustments later. So right now I'm placing both points. And see how the fireball image is starting to get above the hand? You're going to have to start trying to move it. That's where I make adjustments. See? There we go. So that's about right. Anyway, it's just tutorial. You can make it a lot better than this. I just have to do it really fast for the uh, YouTube video. And you can go back and delete the points that you don't want, you know make it look as nice as possible for this tutorial without going overboard anyway alright so now you can look at your video you export it as an AV and uh... that's about it you don't have to save it, you can if you want that's it